I've always said that if the, um, if the lawsuit was over, then I would probably talk to my father. Um, it hasn't happened. If people think since the settlement's over that everything's gonna be hunky-dory and we're all gonna get back together and all eat dinner at the dinner table is one big happy family again, uh, they're wrong. It's gonna take a little time and, uh, you know, time heals all wounds. It's cliche, but it's true. I can't say that I'm happier without my father and my wife. I think the uh, sea's a lot less rough in my life without my father. And that's unfortunate. Um, but I do miss him in my life, of course. You know, he's my father. You know, to be perfectly honest with you, I have no idea what kind of perspective my father has on this whole situation. Uh, I don't even know if he questions why I don't talk to him, you know, or why we don't talk, I should say. Um, it's hard to say what goes on in my father's head. I don't know if he wants to reconcile, if he's ready to reconcile. I know for a fact I'm pretty much not right now, you know? Um, things are peaceful, and I like them that way, and it's calm. It dawns on me every day, you know? Especially in the morning, I wake up and I think about my dad, you know, and I think that uh, he doesn't have his family around him, and it's pretty sad. You know, if my father's business kind of fell apart or something happened and, you know, the business just collapsed or something, uh, I don't know that there are very many people who would honestly stick around him, you know? And um, that's kind of sad in itself.